Gargoyles Oscar, five years old. Gargoyles Joker. He's two years old, got another year of filling out to do ahead of him. And that's Lobo, he just turned a year. what a renaissance bulldog is supposed to look like. A Renaissance Bulldog is supposed to be a functional athletic dog. It's not supposed to be a dog with a crop tail and a short back and an overly bully head. It's supposed to be a functionally sound athletic working dog. Should be structured like a pit bull on steroids with a bully head. That's head isn't too smashed in so it can still breathe and function. Too many people out there now are breeding small little overly bully dogs and representing them as my breed. They aren't. That right there is Oscar's perch to guard the yard. A lot of people wonder why I went offline several years ago after my spinal injury. I'll tell you why. There are a lot of people who stabbed me in the back in this breed and did wrong by it to make a quick buck and puppy mill off of them. I had placed out several beautiful dogs with several programs and all I asked was that these people follow my direction on how to breed them so we can work together create a breed that looks like the dogs you see here in my yard right now. I have several other dogs just like these dogs placed around locally with several people that nobody ever sees anymore. I took my dogs offline because working with some of these puppy millers, I didn't know they were puppy millers at the time, but working with some of these people was taking the breed in the wrong direction and I felt the only way I could save the breed and do right by it was to take it out of the mix for a while. I love the online community for some things, but for other things it really screws things up. People get dollar signs in their eyes and uh, the dogs suffer for it.
had these people bothered to listen to me and follow my direction the dogs you see in my yard is what everybody would be owning right now I keep telling people and have since I started my program the dogs are going to get better and better with each generation Oscar and Joker are a living proof of that. To, do, to those who like what they see in my yard and they want to see more dogs look like this, have faith. I'll be coming back eventually with them. You have a lot of people out there who are passing off mixed breed crosses as Renaissance Bulldogs saying they have quote, gargoyle blood in them. Don't believe the hype. If the dogs aren't bred under my direction with breedings I've set up, these people don't know what they're doing. Again, look at my dogs and look at theirs and you tell me. I consistently produce dogs like this generation after generation. And structurally they're only getting better and better. If you like what you see here, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be posting videos from time to time of my dogs. I've got some excellent breedings lined up for this summer and this fall that I'm pretty excited about. And I'll be showing uh, videos of my puppies too here. These two are best friends, Joker and uh, Lobo. only a handful of people that I'm working with these days. One is Torsten from Germany. I work with Clayton, Nate, and a few others. I work with several people that aren't online. That's one of the reasons why I work with them because again I want to work with people who want to improve the breed and not people who want to make a profit off of selling dogs. One of the most important things you need to breed for, and I'm saying this to you breeders out there, is you need to breed for a tail on these dogs. You need to quit picking the most bully puppies from your litters with the smashed in faces. While they make beautiful puppies, they don't end up looking like these dogs when they're adults. 
the tail is the whole key to getting an athletic body when you keep puppies that have screw tails and kink tails you end up having dogs with short backs which again hurts their structure and it hurts their movement the tail is an extension of the spine that's what hurt the original bulldog years ago people started breeding for these short backs and bully heads and it ruined the structure of their dogs when I got injured and people didn't want to listen to my direction anymore when I was offline they started doing the same thing and you can see their dogs suffered for it they aren't producing dogs that have this kind of structure and movement their dogs are small Joker's a 90 pound dog and he's gonna get bigger over the next year not taller but he'll fill out even more I'll also post some videos of me taking these guys down to the river. I have some videos online of me with down at the river with my shepherd. I'll get some of Joker and uh, Oscar down there too. Again with you, if you like what you see, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll see plenty more of them. He's a handsome bastard, ain't he? figured out the key to uh, getting Joker to show up on these videos is to do it in the morning on an overcast day because when the sun's out and he just looks like a black blob you can see him a little better here than you can in my other video For those who like the kind of bulldog you see in my yard, have patience. I'll be posting more and I'll be producing more. Hope you like them. These two are best friends. They do this all day long. He's the old man, he's above all the child's play. He just sits in the yard and monitors the, the, the dogs in the yard. Like I said, my best dogs are still yet to come. These dogs here are just stepping stones to get better dogs in the future. Stay tuned, you'll be seeing them. I'm still chugging away. I've always been around. I just took myself offline. That's all, folks.